Okay. <laughs> yep. Hi, everyone. Um, so please forgive the mess. Uh, as some of you know, I'm packing up to move to Maine, uh, where I'm going to live on a mountain next to a lake in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but I'll come down to Virginia a lot, and uh, especially this winter. <laughs> but, um, so I've got a lot of boxes here behind me. Uh, and of course, I look like a red hot mess. And, ooh, but I'm going on the journey of a lifetime. <laughs> but here I am today, totally untouched, unmade up, my real life complete mess of a background behind me. Um, I want to wish you guys a happy 1-1-1-2020 day. Um, this is a really powerful time. I mean, yesterday, Halloween was not just a full moon, it was a blue full moon, um, which means we had a full moon at the start of October and a full moon at the end of October. And uh, that's a really big deal. And then today is, you know, the Day of the Dead, which is the day where you honor all of your ancestors. Normally, like when we're in Mexico, normally the graveyards are filled with people honoring all of their ancestors, having picnics, parties, there's parades. Um, I was looking at, you know, pictures of you know i i log into the uh the cameras on the town square and all of that in the beautiful san miguel de allende in guanajuato state where we love to visit and the streets are empty they're beautifully decorated and they're empty because of the covid 19 you know precautions um of course we're coming up to election day um, I wanted to talk to you all because, you know, I talk with the Akashic librarians. I'm up in the Akashic library and I chat with the librarians literally every day. Like, I wouldn't know how to not do that because, you know, it was in my soul contract when I came to life that I'd be up there all the time. So as long as I can remember, I just bob up or they're down here with me. Um, and so I've been talking with the librarians a lot about what's going to happen. You know, a lot of people come to me asking what's going to happen. And there's a lot of people out there, um, psychics, mediums, intuitives, seers, you know, uh, prophesizing what will happen. And here's the thing, when we open up to receive messages, we can only receive what we're receptive to. I mean, it's the same like when you're talking with someone, how often do you say something to a person and they take it the wrong way? Or you hear something and respond and the person's like, no, 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 that's not how I intended it. Um, you know, and then you have to like work through your emotional response and backpedal out of that and release all of that. Otherwise you're putting your stuff on the other person. So, um, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be the first to admit, yes, I have done all of that. Um, and also there are times when you think you're being very clear and no one hears what you're saying. Like, <laughs> yes, me. So when we receive information, understand when you listen to people like me, when you listen to me, we can only share what we receive, and it goes through our personal filtering systems. This is why I try to be what I call an open conduit, meaning when I open, I open up completely, and what comes in my head goes out my mouth absolutely unfiltered, which means people get really offended by what I have to say, and they hold me accountable for the words that are flowing through me. Um, so I will admit, while a lot of my peers have been very outspoken lately as to what will happen, 
you know, as you guys know, last February, while I was still in Mexico before COVID was even a thing in the US, like it was barely in the Northwest, um, I was sharing visions and every vision I shared came true. But every time I shared a vision, a lot of people were really, really angry with me. But I told you all in February that uh, we'd have the lockdown, there'd be a lot of death, that at the end of May, everything, like things were going to be bad in the spring. I, I canceled in February, I canceled all of my events. I had events booked to the hills in April and May. And in mid-February, I canceled all of them. I wanted to give like everyone I worked with time to like do something else. A lot of people were mad at me. Uh, they thought I was being ridiculous. But, um, you know, I, I said in May, there's going to be riots, that there's going to be revolution, uh, people dying in the streets here in the U.S. So um i gotta admit over the summer i kind of stopped sharing my visions just because um there's so many people out there who were having other visions that people found more appealing than what i was sharing um i'm gonna tell you guys when it comes to the election i'm sorry i'm hearing so many stupid bs visions coming at you just take this stuff with a grain of salt. Some of the things I'm hearing, like, are you freaking kidding me? Come on, this is obviously your ego being spoken out loud, or uh, you're just sharing what people want to sit here to promote your business. So, you know, like, really take things with think use your common sense okay don't automatically assume because someone's channeling from the divine it has any meaning at all um because half the time these people their ego gets in the way and it's ridiculous i'm going to tell you what i saw and this is i've been saying this since february like in this election between Trump and Biden, which I was not saying in February, obviously, even when I talk with the librarians, they're like, it can go either way. They just keep showing me, and I'm not saying this to be like safe or anything. This is literally what I see. They keep showing me this like big ball of energy, which is where we're at right now. And there are two paths that go out. And so they show me the two paths and the first one, which I feel is more likely, but you know, I'm emotionally invested. So who knows? The first one is Biden wins the election and he wins it well. Like there's no real contesting of it, even though obviously Trump will contest it. And Biden goes forward with one term with a possibility of Kamala Harris with two terms. And that really ushers us into a renaissance in our country, like takes us to a lighter age where everyone is cared for. And it helps set a global precedence where people are cared for and takes us more towards our global soul contract to um be more connected with each other like no more haves and have nots but everyone being a human being connected together and caring about our planet and all beings including animals and and you know the elements um i mean i see this going down a really really great possible path the other one i see is you know trump taking the election and it's really obvious that he didn't win it legitimately and there is like revolution and our streets run red with blood and um uh oh hi yolanda no i just joined in just joined in it started a little bit ago and it's going to be a short one today this is a spontaneous thing so if trump takes the election there, our, our country will go into revolution and the United States will never be the same again. 
But what the librarian saw show me every time is while we're in this great ball of energy and there's two paths going out, it's inevitable that they join up no matter which one we're on with the main central path of our planet. The Biden one joins in beautifully and the Trump one joins in further ahead, but after a lot of destruction. But they keep showing in the long run, it is inevitable that humanity will come together. Um, the question is how many humans will still be alive before that happens? Um, they show me on this path, and this is the part that I actually consider more important, which is what is the long-term gain of this. They show me an eventual future where humanity comes together and we return to connecting to earth and to animals and to our souls, you know, and the integrity of humanity that is somewhat lost right now with the struggle. They do say without question, everything that's happening on our planet right now is not a cause, it's an effect. The COVID-19, the wars, the destruction, the global climate change, these are the effects from humanity being, you know, the way we're being. I can't politely express it, but you know, you know what we're doing. We're harming each other. We're harming the planet. And when you cause harm, there is an effect from that. When we come together and cause goodness, caring, concern on a global level, there will be an effect of that. So they, they encourage us to focus on the far future and live our lives now on what do we have to do to get to there, just like any task. Like if your home is messy <laughs> and you want it to be clean, you know, yeah, I focus on this pile of boxes behind me, but what I'm really focusing on is all of this stuff being in boxes and in a moving van and everything being in my new home. <laughs> so um, I'm not despondent over <laughs> what's the chaos around me right now, um, you know, or if you're starting a new business. Yes, you have to be aware of all the day-to-day -day and the trials and tribulations, but your real focus is on the timeline when your business is thriving and you get to relax and enjoy, you know, the fruition of your dream. So they're encouraging us. The librarians of the Akashic Records are encouraging us to look at our planet right now and say, how do we get from where we are now to where do we wish to be? And um, so I do wanna say, and while this is a plug for my business, it's not like a money plug, it's more of a, if this is something you wanna do, I can help, but there's no cost to you. I'm not asking for money, I'm asking, um, for us holding hands virtually. Um, if you go to my website, which I have in the description, bonitawoods.org, and join my free, free spiritual alchemist group, then you will be get like the emails when I do events. Um, like one week from today, we're doing a cord cutting ceremony. So like whether you are connecting with your family in person or uh, virtually or just in memories, it's about that energy being as clean and clarified and loving and healthy as possible for you and from you. Um, and possibly, you know, I've done cord cuttings where it affects everyone in the group in a wonderful way. So we're gonna learn about that. And I do this every year. So uh, sign up 
for my level one spiritual alchemists. It's absolutely free. You don't need to give any credit card. You will have access to my whole library of all of these lessons and the several free lessons that we do and live streams every month. The reason I'm saying this is because I think it's important that every one of you learns not to listen to me or people like me, but to learn to receive information yourself. If you want to know what's going on in the future, if I can see the future, you can see the future. It's not like I'm the special future seeing. It's that I've learned how, and I want you to know how. There's a lot of different ways. If I can receive messages from, you know, amazing beings who have better sight than I have, then so can you. So um, I want as many people as possible to become less dependent on what people like me tell them and more self-reliant and self-receptive. So that's what this program is all about. It's about everyone becoming your unique connections and learning to really honor yourselves. Um, I mean, I'll be honest, I see a lot of potentially rough things coming up ahead. So it'll be really good for as many of us as possible to be able to tap into ourselves and say, what do I need? to know that I'm doing my best, being my best, and feeling my best. <laughs> As, um, it's possible that those skills will be really handy really soon. So that's it. Um, keep in mind, like me personally, I wish I could tell you, oh, I see the future and this is, but I see two paths, two paths and humanity is on the brink of wonderful stuff or mm, not wonderful stuff. And um, we have free will. We're the ones who determine our future. We're the ones who decide. Humanity has free will as a collective and each of us individually has free will. So let's let's make our lives happen for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, next week, Wednesday, all of my spiritual alchemists, if you're welcome to join me uh, on Zoom, you know, so we can chat a little before the live stream and after. And for anyone who doesn't want to join that, but you still want to join, we're going to live stream here to Facebook so you can join us um, here. But if you can, please join us with the Spiritual Alchemy Group because it's really fun, free, and um, I think we have a lot of useful, self-empowering things there. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you so much. I feel really lucky to be connected with you all. and. Um, you know, there's going to be some interesting times ahead, no matter what happens. So make the most of it for your personal growth and evolution to become the best you that you can be. Use everything for your growth experience. Thank you. I love you and take care.